Now for some best fun moments. <laughs> we, we saw that footage and I saw you with Rohit Bal a lot and I'm uh, intrigued that you're talking about all about him, his boyfriend and split. How come you didn't bring it up? Yes, I was with Rohit. I was with Gudda. He's a very long-term friend of mine. And uh, to be honest, yes, I did ask him that because I did not see his boyfriend Lalit with him. And I said, uh, Gudda, where is Lalit? And he was very matter-of-fact and he said, Lalit and me are no longer together. But of course, he still lives with me and he uses my home and he's a good friend and always be there for him. But otherwise, he has moved on. And I didn't think that I should be prodding into his personal life. The very fact that they were so open about their relationship and uh, Gudda can take it so well um, is really applaudable. And uh, I just wanted to leave it at that. It's his personal life and we should have just left it at that. But for some reason, I think it's very sad the way Lalit is getting mileage out of this whole thing. He became famous because he was Rohit Bal's boyfriend. And uh, right now, he's trying to get more fame, trying to not be Rohit Bal's boyfriend. It's pathetic the way he's using the press, the way he's probably uh, moved on from Rohit to whoever. And I think Rohit Bal is very gracious and he won't say a word, while um, Lalit is just being a cheapskate and trying to get as much publicity as he can out of this. And if you ask me, I'm very happy because when Lalit and Rohit were together, Rohit could never close dance with me or I Lalit to permission any <laughs> any And finally, finally, until Rohit gets another boyfriend, I can close dance with him. Got him all to yourself. Yes. Rohit didn't happen, what happened? You're close dancing with James Ferreira as well. So Preet, you're pulling my leg right now. But you know, it was just part of my job. I wasn't close dancing. But you have done something else on your ramp. You're sitting on my camera. Please, I'm speaking to you in Hindi. <laughs> No, 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 no. Please, please, please. I love the answer. Okay, come on. Thank you, James. You're the best. James Ferreira decided to do this gig on the ramp when he showcased his clothes. And there was a big rumor that the Katrina was playing and Jesse was playing the song of Sheila Ki Jawani. All the media and the audience, everybody was so excited that Katrina's coming there. And here was James, he's wearing these denim shorts. He took off this jacket just for Zoom and you can see we are growing and jigging with it. Well, there's a bit of an unfair moment as well. You close dancing with men and then you're telling Sylvie off not to be so Supreet, you're being not nice to me for sure today. I wasn't doing that again. I was working and I was trying to get bites and makeup and hair trends from Sylvie and she was supposed to take care of my hair and there she was blowing kisses to all the guys, so I'm like, stop flirting with men first, talk to my camera. So we're not looking at boys anymore? No, I'm looking at you. Okay. So which was your favorite party among all of them? I think the finale party that was hosted at this beautiful uh, open air uh, lounge uh, by the poolside, it's really nice. And a lot of people had just come back after the Sabya Sachi show. So you see these girls and they have this headgear on and they actually stole it from Sabya and you can check this out. They have this uh, very exotic headgear. Tell you where you get it from. I got it from the Sabya show. You stole it, you said. Well, we almost stole it. It's worth stealing. We did a dharna outside and we said we're not leaving till you give us a headgear. You very generously gave us the bangles as well. I didn't get anything. I came empty-handed, so you guys were like Anna Hazare. Absolutely. That's all you meant for. Exactly. How about now for the best, best moment? The bestest moment of the fashion week, the Wheels Lifestyle India Fashion Week, was uh, this girl band there from Calcutta. They were very pretty girls. They had the most amazing voice. They were playing the guitar. And uh, they had made up their own song about Delhi and Calcutta. And ye Delhi hai Manmohan <laughs> or Sheila ki. Not Sheila ki Jawani wali Sheila, because it's not Bollywood, OK? And it was really nice. And I got them to sing the song just for Zoom. So we made an impromptu song up, mm -hmm. and they sang it for us. And I'm dancing there. Now you can see. Let's have a look. It's all about the glamour. It's all about the mood. Here we are together, singing on the boom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Go! Trita! Rudika! We are staying! Go Zoom! <laughs> Thank you, Simi, for all the wonderful inputs you always bring. It's always my pleasure. And we're so looking forward to next time. Me too. See you soon.